Hi there. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Azure Cosmos NoSQL database. And we're going to see how we can ingest data from Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 account using the Azure Data Factory for analysis. Therefore, let's get started. The Azure Cosmos DB is a fully managed distributed database used for modern app development and it supports open source APIs for MongoDB, Cassandra, and other NoSQL engines. Let's see how we can go about this project. And this is my Azure portal. So basically, I want to go to this ADLS resource and of course, we'll go ahead and search by clicking on this create. I want to search for the Azure Cosmos DB. So in the marketplace, I'm going to search for the Azure Cosmos and then press enter. We're going to see the Azure Cosmos DB, Azure Cosmos DB reserved capacity for MongoDB, for Postgres, and so on. So I want to click on the very first one, which is the globally distributed multi-model database. So click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Create. Now, in the Create, we can specify which API best suits our workload. Now, we can choose the NoSQL. We can choose for the Postgres, for MongoDB, for Apache Cassandra, for Table, and for Apache Gremlin. But we want to focus on the NoSQL. So click on Create. Now, we're going to land in the Create as a Cosmos DB account. And then we can, under the tabs, choose our subscription. So I'm going to use the Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. And then the ADLS resource is automatically chosen for me. Now, I can click on New if I want to create a new one, but that's fine. For the instance details, I'm just going to call this one Demo Azure Cosmos. And of course, if this is OK, I'm going to say, so this is acceptable. And then for the availability zone, we can choose our region. Now, I can click on this enable, and I'm going to search for the region where I am. So I'm going to search for the UK South. And then I'm going to scroll down. For the capacity, we're going to just stick with the provision throughput. And then for the apply free trial discount, this is going to be applied to our database. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on review and create. And then we're going to see the validation success and then click on create. So this is going to initialize the deployment and it's going to be submitted. So we're going to wait for some couple of minutes and then we carry on from there. Your deployment is complete. So we can go to resource. So click on that. We can see the preview, the overview, the essential details like the status, the resource group, the subscription ID and so on. So I'm going to come to the data explorer. Now we want to create our database and our container. So I want to click on that. We're going to see this welcome to Azure Cosmos DB, globally distributed multi-model database service for any scale. We're going to see at the left hand side, we have the NoSQL API. So I'm going to click on new container and it's going to prompt me to create a database or choose an existing database. So I'm just going to call this one demo DB as the name of the database. And then we're going to stick with the database throughput as auto scale. And I'm going to scroll down. For the container, I'm going to call this one employee records because I want to ingest employee records. And then for the indexing, it's going to be automatic. And I'm going to scroll down. Now for the partition key, I'm going to set this to be ID. And then I'm going to scroll down and then click on OK. So this has now been created. I can click on this to close the panel. So when I close the panel, again, it's going to take me to the deployment page. Click on go to reasons. All right, so we have the employee records container, which is beautiful. Now, we'll go ahead and check our data in the storage account. So I'm going to come to this tab, and in this tab, I can see I've got this Fabric Shortcut 101 storage account. And I want to come to the containers under the data storage. Click on that. And then I've got three containers, the employee data, Fabric Container, and the GCS data transfer. I want to click on the first one and then I can see this big query data.csv. I can click on it and then I can see under the blog, I can check the data set by clicking on the edit in this tab. So click on the edit and I can see the content, which is quite beautiful. Now let's go ahead and use the Azure Data Factory data pipeline to copy the data into the Azure Cosmos DB. So I'm going to come here and of course, this is my data movement data factory. So we want to launch the studio. So click on Launch Studio. 
and this is our Azure Data Factory. So we're going to come to the author dispenser, and we're going to see we have the factory resources like the pipelines, change data capture, data sets, data flows, and Power Query. So we're going to come to the pipelines and click on this horizontal ellipsis, and then we'll choose a new pipeline. Now for this pipeline, we're going to use the copy data activity. So I'm going to drag into this canvas. And I'm going to close this and I can close this panel also. I can even close these properties and then we have this copy data in the canvas. Now, under the general, I can give this a meaningful name. Let's just call it transfer data from ADL less to Cosmos. Okay, so this is fine. And then I want to come to the source. Now, in the source, I'm going to choose the source data set. So click on this name. Now, when I click on the nail, we want to choose the data set, and then this is going to be our Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So I'm going to click on that and then choose Continue. And then for the data set format, this is our comma separated value. So we have the CSV file. So I'm going to choose the um, CSV file as the format, the delimited text, and then click on Continue. And then we want to create a linked service. Of course, we can change the name, but this is fine. So for the link service, I'm going to click on that. Now I've got the loads of options here, which I used in the past, but I want to create a new. So click on new. And then let's just call this demo data, and then we can give a description. For the connect via integration runtime, it's going to be auto resolve integration runtime. And then for the authentication, the account key. So I'm going to come to the Azure subscription, and I want to choose the Visual Studio Enterprise subscription. And of course, for the storage account name, this is going to be Fabric Shortcut 101 Storage Account. And then I can scroll down and test the connection. So this should give us connection successful, and then we move on. Brilliant. So click on Create. So that has been created. Then we can browse through the file path. Now I'm going to click on this to browse, and then I want to come to the Employees Data Container, and then I can see the BigQuery data.csv file. Click on that. And that's going to be the file path, and then click OK. So we've created a link service to our source data set, and then we'll come to the destination, the sync. So for this, I'm going to click on new. Of course, it's going to be Azure Cosmos DB. So for the new data set, Azure Cosmos, and then we can see for MongoDB and then for NoSQL. So we want to choose the NoSQL and then click on continue. And then again, we need to create a link service. So I want to click on that, and I want to choose a new connection. And then I'm just going to maintain the same name. And then I'm going to come to the Azure subscription. And then I want to choose the database we created, the demo Azure Cosmos. And then I'm going to scroll down. We want to choose the database name, which is the same thing as demo DB. And we want to go ahead and test connection. Again, this must be working. So connection successful. Brilliant. Click on create. So we've created link service to our source and our sync, which is quite brilliant. And then for the container, I'm going to click on this and I want to choose the employee records container we created. So the container that we have created, okay, this, and then click on that, select the container, and then click OK. So brilliant, we have the sync. So of course, the mapping settings, user properties is not required. So we can go on and value it and check. So this returned no errors. Brilliant, close. And then we can go on and debug. And then we wait for the job to be queued. And then we want to see the activity status, whether it's going to work or not. Brilliant. Activity status succeeded. So I can click on the activity name and I can see the flow. So from our Azure Data Lake Storage to account. And then we are landing with syncing in the Azure Cosmos DB for NoSQL. And of course, we can see the number of rows, red, which is 35. And of course, we have the rows rating 35. And then we have the peak connections and all other details, which is quite brilliant. So we want to close this. And we want to go to our demo Azure Cosmos account. So that's done. Now, I can click on this refresh. And that's going to set to the whole thing. So we can go on and click on the employee records um, container. And then we can write new SQL. So when I click on that, so I can go on and select or just go ahead and execute the selection and we're going to see our query which is quite brilliant in form of key values pair so we have the ids and then we have the values which is super amazing so i'm going to collapse this for now and then i'm going to scroll down so now this simply means a one line of records and brilliant so we've been able to connect to our 
as Azure Data Lake Storage Gentle account, and we landed our data set in the Azure Cosmos DB. In the next video, we're going to see how we can perform mirroring to this Azure Cosmos DB account. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, share with your friends, comment, and follow me for more data engineering video. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.